So no name this is Jay-Z, Kendrick Lamar, Beyonce, and Rihanna over NFL relationships. Hey, what's up? I'm A-Dub, and check this out. So No Name released her new album, Sundial, on Friday, August 11th, ending the five-year wait after her critically acclaimed 2018 project, Room 25. Common, Jay Electronica, and Billy Woods headline the impressive supporting cast, but it's one of No Name's solo offerings, Namesake, that commands listeners' attention as she criticizes the aforementioned megastars for cozying up to the National Football League and performing at the Super Bowl. Reading between the line at the crime scene, I ain't fucking with the NFL or Jay-Z. Propaganda for the military complex, the same gun that shot Lil Terry out west, the same gun that shot Samir in the West Bank. We all think the Super Bowl is the best thing. Go Rihanna, go. Watch the fighter jet fly high. War machine gets glamorized. We play the game, do pass the time. Go Beyonce, go. Watch the fighter jet fly high. War machine gets glamorized. We play the game, do pass the time. Go Kendrick, go. Watch the fighter jet fly high. War machine gets glamorized. We play the game. No Name doesn't just punch up at the big names, though. In the very next bar, she turns the microscope on herself and raps. Go, No Name, go. Coachella stage got sanitized. I said I wouldn't perform for them, and somehow I still fell in line. Fuck. Jay-Z struck a partnership with the NFL in 2019 to become the league's live music entertainment strategist while also contributing to its social and racial justice initiatives. Three years earlier, his wife Beyonce headlined Super Bowl 50, delivering what many consider to be one of the best performances the game has seen off the back of her blockbuster album, Lemonade. With Jay-Z wielding his influence in the corridors of football power, R&B and hip-hop has continued to make its presence felt at the Super Bowl, with Kendrick Lamar joining Dr. Dre for his Emmy-winning set in 2022, alongside Eminem, Snoop Dogg, 50 Cent, Mary J. Blige, and Anderson Pack. That was followed by Rihanna's halftime show earlier this year, where she famously unveiled her growing baby bump, confirming she was pregnant with baby number two with boyfriend ASAP Rocky. Despite these wins, No Name is far from the first to question hip-hop's relationship with the NFL. The news of Jay-Z's partnership came two years after the league had effectively blackballed Colin Kaepernick for kneeling during the national anthem to call attention to racial injustice and police brutality. Some felt Jay-Z was effectively giving the league a pass by going into business with them, with allegations also put forth that it was a move motivated purely by personal financial gain, not wider social change. Others, however, believe the billionaire rap mogul was looking to play the long game and change the system from the inside. Even Rihanna herself turned down the opportunity to perform at the Super Bowl back in 2019, telling Vogue at the time, I just couldn't be a sellout. There's things within that organization that I do not agree with at all, and I was not about to go and be of service to them in any way. Asked about her U-turn in an interview with British Vogue earlier this year, Riri explained she had a change of heart after becoming a mother. There's still a lot of mending to be done in my eyes, but it's powerful to break those doors and have representation at such a high, high level and a consistent level. Two Super Bowls back to back, you know, representing the urban community globally. It is powerful, it sends a really strong message. Raising a young black man is one of the scariest responsibilities in life. You're like, what am I leaving my kids to? This is the planet they're gonna be living on. All these things really start to hit differently. But what do you think about what No Name had to say about Jay-Z, Kendrick, Beyonce, and Rihanna? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to hiphopdx.com.